So let's do a boiling test here with the Pekka Feather XL alcohol stove. Um, we have here our thermal gauge, uh, which currently right now is measuring 40 degrees in ambient temperature. I have uh, two cups of water in the Evernew Titanium 1 liter pasta pot. And we have a reflective shield down there on the bottom, which the manufacturer recommends. It's basically just uh, aluminum foil. Um, I do actually use this out in the field, so we're going to test it as I use it in the field. Uh, we have our pack of feather XL stove. We have the combustion chamber. We have the fuel cap. Inside the fuel cap, we have two and a half ounces of fuel, and we have our windscreen. So with our thermal gauge, let's uh, take a look at our water temperature and we're sporting 36 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're dealing with conditions of a very brisk morning basically is what we got here. Our fuel is roughly 44 degrees Fahrenheit. Alright, so we'll put our combustion chamber over our fuel reservoir cap here. We'll go and ignite it. Alright, gets a little tough to tell whether or not uh, our fuel is burning because of it being an alcohol stove that it is. Um, I do see a blue frame when I put the windscreen over it. So let's get ready to set our timer. Okay, we are underway. And we're already increasing in temperature. Um, I do like my windscreen to just show a little bit of space between the pot. That allows for a good windscreen for me. I uh, will open up the combustion chamber so we can get full output from it. Now I usually open it up completely all the way and then I do two uh, clockwise turns. Okay, roughly one minute and what we call 45 seconds, we're at 57, 58 degrees Fahrenheit inside our boiling water. All right, and as we know, a true boil is 212 degrees. So, Okay, we're three minutes into the burn. We are at 88 degrees inside the uh, pot and we have definitely condensation on the outside. So we're cooking. All right, a little over four minutes into it, we have a water temperature of 109 degrees. Okay, 6.03, we're at 148 degrees. Um, I can hear a simmer inside the pot now. We'll um, actually take a look at it, see what we got going on in here. We do have some uh, boiling bubbles in here. Um, give you a little bit of a look here. This is kind of uh, where we're at. All right, we still got a ways to go for a real boil. Okay, eight minutes into it, we're at 180 degrees. And we have ourselves starting to uh, get somewhere. So the manufacturer says that uh, it should take somewhere between um, I believe it's six and seven minutes uh, for you to get a good boil. Now that's based on your temperatures being uh, your water temperature being at uh, 60 degrees so probably your ambient temperature is going to be pretty close to that as well um, if you're pulling it from a spring or your water bottle. So uh, I'm testing it here in a lot much colder conditions for it because 
Uh, for most people that are doing their hikes, uh, especially if you're hiking the Appalachian Trail, you know, you're going to start sometime in March, and if you're really considering on using an alcohol stove, this is kind of like the weather you're going to be uh, having in your mornings. They're going to be pretty brisk around the March season. So we're coming up there now to a good, to the good crucial point. We're just uh, peaked over uh, between uh, 199, 200. There's a 200 in there. So at nine minutes and some odd seconds, we got above 200. So we're actually at a point now where we're looking at a good cooking part here. You know, we have some bubbling here. All right, uh, on my end, I can hear a little bit of it wanting to start through the roar. You know, we need a few more degrees here to get to that full boil mark. So again, I, you know, I was always a uh, white gas type stove person. Um, this is actually uh, one of the few times that I'm actually trying to uh, see what it's like with the alcohol stove. So, so we got a nice, good steam coming off of it. Again, still haven't gotten to a true boil yet. So, okay, we're at that 212 mark here at 11 minutes now. 11 minutes, and we do have a little bit of a boil going on here now. So, for a true boil, you know, we got there about 11 minutes. Again, you got to remember we are doing this here at... Uh, lower temperatures than its normal testing. Um, under normal summer conditions, uh, manufacturer states it should take about, like I said, I think it's really like six, it's, I think it's like six to uh, eight minutes, but uh, don't quote me on that. But we do have a boil, and we are there. So let's see just how much fuel we have left. So, we're going to close her off. Put the snuff cap on. We're going to hold it there briefly. All right, she's out. Okay, I'm going to let that cool down and we'll come back and see uh, just how much fuel we have left out of that two ounce. Okay, so our fuel's cooled down. We got ourselves a little cough syrup cup here. Now remember, I started out with two ounces of fuel and I just hope you'll trust me on that. And we have here, it looks like three quarters of an ounce of fuel left. So we basically use 1.25 ounces um, under these particular conditions. Um, what I can tell you is I have done this under summer conditions and the uh, boil times are a lot much more faster. But again, this is a more realistic uh, test here under these types of temperatures for brisk mornings uh, along the trails. Hope this helps everybody out and happy hiking.